definitely uh, it's tough to choose uh, Rublev or Medvedev because uh, both of them <laughs> one is crazy outside uh, the court another one is crazy on the court <laughs> normally I like to come to the airport very close to the flight and one time I think um, traveling from India and Wales uh, we had to go by car so of course we we left uh, later than we planned because of me and then uh, we we were driving with the traffic like three hours 45 to LA um, and then we had to give the rental car back to the company so I dropped my coaches uh, at the airport with the luggage and then me and my wife we were running driving like outside to drop the car and then our coaches made, made it to the flight and we missed it definitely <laughs> so we had to wait a couple of hours more for the next flight and uh, yeah it was a mess a little bit and our trip just became much tougher and much longer you just said that you had a wife at what age did you get married i get married uh, when i was 19 turning 20 years old that's so young at what age did you meet yeah. your wife we know each other from eight years old actually it's like a childhood friend childhood love let's call it like this and uh, we get married yeah, pretty early i mean there's not particular one i would say we are very close with uh, all Russian guys, with Andre, with Daniel, uh, but but mostly I would say Andre and Daniel that we are you know uh, uh, sharing the same tournaments and uh, that we can go out and and have dinners together. I would say Daniel. Yeah, yeah he has a good sense of humor. But this is Andre definitely. Okay. I would say Nick Kyrgios. I think so. I mean, I never party with him, but. Uh, I heard stories like, uh, or maybe rumors, let's call it like this, that he likes to go out, yeah. Grigor? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the girl? Uh, I would say Yelena Rybakina. Uh, for me, it's always been favorite Grand Slam is Roland Garros. Why? I you know, from young age, I always was watching, uh, you know, in May when the school was finishing, you know, at home, uh, <clears throat> matches of, you know, definitely. Rafa, I mean, before Rafa, Quirtan, you know, Kafelnik of one once, and uh, then Rafa, 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 Rafa. So, <laughs> I don't know, I just always uh, dreamed of uh, winning this one. Uh, and actually, I cannot say that I don't like the other ones, because every Grand Slam is a special one. And uh, I had good feelings in Australia, in US Open as well, you know, in Wimbledon, but I don't know why. I just used to like the French... Uh, uh, public, let's call it like this, you know, yeah. the French supporters and they always supported me well and I always felt like playing good in France. This is the fifth time, I think, and I won in 2018 the tournament here. Actually, the years before, I never went outside of the hotel. I mean, I, I had a small walk in the port, but um, I don't know, with the schedule and everything, I was just always having easy in the hotel, between hotel and site mostly. But um, this year we had a walk a little bit already. We arrived earlier, so maybe I have time to to go around the um, you know the castle, right? Like uh, different. Uh, there is a church on the top, so I heard there are some places to visit. I would say so. I mean, if we if we talk about um, on court is one thing. If it's outside the court, I would say it's definitely another thing. Can you tell us more? You know, on the court, uh, definitely they, they stay the same, you know, to win a Grand Slam and to become number one, I would say it's most of the guys, they answer like this, right? So, and, and this from childhood uh, dreams, they always been like this, but, uh, and they don't change. But I would say what, what changed a little bit is to give more example for the younger kids, you know, to, to try to, to be like who I am on the court and to basically share my personality much more for the people to, to see instead of just uh, seeing me like a, let's say like a tennis player and outside the court definitely you know to to help more people to you know the, the most important is that um, the whole family is healthy and um, you know I would say to yeah to, to help more, more people you know outside uh, in need you know and to be uh, more humble let's say. Do, do you have your driver license? Yes, of course I do. I like you do? To, I like to drive, yeah. Nice. Have you ever met any crazy drivers uh, on any tournament? Like a real one? Uh, not not really. I mean, some of them they like to talk a lot, some of them they don't talk, so it's pretty... Uh, it, it's, a, it's a big difference, you know. Every tournament, uh, different countries, different mentality, different personalities. So. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thank you.
Thanks guys, bye bye. Cheers.